Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner on our hard mode series. We are in Alaska, we are in Pedro Bay and we have the large tube and delivery. It is delivered to the factory, the coiled tubing semi-trailer cargo delivery job. We are in the uh, Derry Longhorn. Also I'm ready to go. I think we left off and I was still in the Royal BM. Now, I'm recording this the same day as the last episode but we had scaffolders in, uh, making a lot of noise as they, as they were taking their scaffolding down, as they do, so uh, I hopped out again, and uh, back a few hours later, but I exited game rather quickly, uh, and again I had to wait for time to catch up with me again. Uh, if, if I exit straight to dashboard, or desktop, sorry, to dashboard, exit to desktop, I, I always come back with time rolled back, the game is where it's supposed to be, but time always seems to be rolled back. Uh, if I um, quit out to, to home screen and then exit to exit the game fully, time stays where it is. So I have had to sit and <laughs> sit for about 15 minutes uh, waiting for time to catch up to where we were. It's <clears throat> losing my voice already. Um, yeah, it's a little bit before seven, but we had a little bit less than time last time, so we've got a little bit more than time this time. But I got fed up sitting and waiting, so we're just cracking on. We are just cracking on. But I hope you're well. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us on our journey, on our adventures. The sound sounds different in my head as well. I think I might turn the uh, turn the headset down. All me. Just gonna keep chugging for a bit. Should we go low for a little minute? Remember when we came, we were in high gear the whole way. Trying to save fuel. Oh, I forgot to fill up on the way as well, never mind. We drove past that massive fuel tanker and didn't grab no fuel. It's alright. It's all good. Right, let's see if we can uh, stick it in high now and just cruise on through. Because it should be a pretty simple delivery. Shouldn't be too much taxing about this. The chore for this one is probably opening up everything and clearing the roads to get this one out. This one isn't quite the challenge of the others. Uh, just have to be a little bit wary on the ice parts. Because uh, we just have regular tyres. Oh, actually, they're not too bad, them tyres, are they? They look like they might be um, all terrains or something. Oh, they've got some good grip some good tread on them to uh, disperse the uh, the mud and the sand but they won't be any good on the ice if it you know that that back end would slide about a little bit here probably here <laughs> watch it just drift down so you just have to be a little bit mindful for that in case it pulls your vehicle over but you should be good at speed we should be good hopefully I'll still get all the recordings I want to do today done today uh, I normally try and record three and edit three, so I might I might have to uh, put the editing off until later this evening or tomorrow. But we are ahead on the schedule. Uh, these will be going out probably end of November, early December. And it is 22nd of October. <laughs> We're getting ahead. I could put these out a lot quicker, but I don't think it's going to mm, make too much difference to the channel-wise. Plus, you know, I'd have to have to make more of them more frequently. But at the minute, I'm just doing it on Tuesday. Tuesday's recording day while we wait to see what happens with YouTube and the channel and what I have here. I talk about it a lot at the minute because it plays on my mind, as I'm sure some of you will uh, understand. Put four years into doing something and then pretty much having it taken away from you for no reason whatsoever, other than the system's broken and people are stupid. is uh, somewhat annoying. Well, I'm trying to keep the mindset of it's going to be alright, and if it's not going to be alright, we'll just build up again. Hopefully I can get a few of you to come and join me if I have to start a new channel. Obviously we're not going to get everyone come, because not everyone even watches the content, but quite yes, not liking this, is it? Right. Just out of reach. Oh. Go on, let me have it. Let me have it. We need a little tug. 
a little tug and off we go. I'm really hoping I don't have to start brand new though. <laughs> I've deleted so much content off here to try and appease whatever it is YouTube had a problem with. Over a thousand videos so far have gone. Which is madness. But some of it. <laughs> some of it I might just do again anyway. Uh, no. Although a lot of it was, uh, you know, content that people didn't really watch much and, you know. Audio was awful. My audio's never good. We'll go over this again, shall we? My audio's never good. Never happy with it. But back in those early ones, it was it was dire. It was dire. Um, the eventually, I will <laughs> remove the early FS22 series as well, where the where the audio is bad, which is a shame because as those were what really got me going, and those was what really sort of helped build the channel. But I, I just think if people come across it, and then they hear that, like they're not sticking around, are they? So, a fresh start isn't necessarily the worst thing. But it'd be nice if we could just improve what we already have. But, again, if, if YouTube aren't going to allow me to monetize it, for, for thinking that I'm reusing someone else's content, could you imagine it using, reusing someone else's content and picking someone who has such an awful voice and such bad, bad audio and poor editing skills? Why would you pick that person? If you were going to take content, it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Oh dear, blows my mind. Blows my mind. Like if you, if you were going to, if you wanted a successful farm sim channel, and you were, you were going to steal or, or a successful simulation channel or a gaming channel, you know, you'd take someone's content that was good and redub it. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't use what I use into the mountain river. Boom. Right. I don't remember which is the uh, second one yet. At, at the fuel station. At the... I call it the gar garage, but it's not garage because the garage in this is where you stuff. It is at the fuel station. The gas station. So I think this one is probably the easiest of the big deliveries. Bumper, ooh, bumper round. Your high gear will we should take less damage from the little stones in high gear. I don't know why that is, but I saw a, a mechanic of the game. Try and blow through that. Das ist kaputt. tubes in here, boy. Jobs are good and I was going to read that one. What does turn the engine off? Um, I think it was like fifteen hundred. Wasn't a wasn't a challenge in one. So we now have unlocked order master supreme. So, but we've still got to do the White Valley jobs. Which we need to get in there and, and sort out. Well, it's the North Port, but that needs drilling equipment completed first. Which is here. Which is for the White Valley. So, it's got to go through. Um... 
um, oil rig salvage semi trailer is over here. So, I think since we are here, it would make sense that we do the uh, drill rig disassembly and take that through to Northport. Jump straight on another big one. That's what she said. Let's get on it, lad. Let's, 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 let's get them pennies. Why not? I do. I do like. I like. I think I said this. I'll probably say it every episode. I do like how Alaska feel. I feel like Alaska flows, or I've just. I just got a better way of doing Alaska than maybe the other maps. But I, I do like how it flows jobs just seem to yeah feel nice in uh, in what they do and the way they go and then we we'll want to bring the uh, let's say bring the royal and the ANK we'll bring that through and probably the low star actually into uh, White Valley to start doing things there because the we want to get that I don't think I've opened it yet so we want to get the uh, the gateway opened I'm sure people are going to think I'm strange but it's just easier to reverse in there than it is to keep trying to turn around it's not a big full court just a relax and reverse just chill bro We'll get, get rid of this oil ting ting for them. Make sure we refuel ourselves when we get to the top. Beep, beep, beep as we go. I do hope you are enjoying my. Uh, <laughs> My journey through Alaska and through Snow Runner. I absolutely, absolutely love this game, and I've just been, I've been playing it like crazy lately. Playing it like crazy on all platforms, all the time. My console save is coming along. This one is coming along nicely. I do even have it installed again from Game Pass on my PC because I'm just trying to get the achievements off it. So it's the first three maps, do everything on there, an extra thousand achievements. So, lots going on. Snow runner wise. Snow runner wise. Ooh. Nice, nice, come on, come on. Just, just the so there's something about they don't feel as threatening or as clumbersome. I think it's just because there's that really challenging one. That first one that we did. Coming home to come through Devil's Mud and negotiate the tight turns and, and get over the uh, the off-road section. The rest of them just seem easier than pulling maybe a trailer of four or five cargo. They just become more of a, a time consuming delivery more than anything else, rather than a problematic logistical thing if that makes sense to anyone is anyone there he says as he gets it snagged just didn't go wide enough that's all a little bit wider this time
again it's never really a problem I mean we could probably even reach the port on half a tank of fuel considering we've gone all the way through Pedro done this delivery turned around to everything else but we'll uh, we'll get some fuel from I think it's a service trailer or whatever that is we've got down here somewhere we've got we've got the shizzle we need sorry about all my fl I do flick the camera about a lot I do apologize I I, I always think tell myself like we're just going to keep a, a nice steady camera and we'll do the whole journey and we'll just stay like this but then I, I like to see like both both sides of the truck I like to see what's going on. I like to see the scenery and you know, enjoy the game as well as we go on along. Whereas this would probably be a good view. Just travel like this. But then you want to get over on this side as well. <laughs> oh dear. I talk such rubbish. Let's not stall it. Let's go, go, go. Off to the pool. We haven't been in a while. Should we watch it? Since it's a daylight one. A view across the uh, the vista. Let's go. And we'll just uh, skirt around the edge of the uh, the map. We'll take the uh, the road. <laughs> Runaway truck. Runaway truck. I try and I try and do the delivery from in cab, but not knowing where the back end is would uh, give me a fair old bit of anxiety. I think, especially when it comes to the uh, the turns like at the end here. Should we give it a try? A wee challenge for ourselves. Doesn't help me to keep the camera still either though, does it? I'm still still flicking it about. Nice and wide, nice and wide into the snow. Put it right round. Can't really see the end of the trailer. Feeling good though. It's all coming about. Just got to get it through the snow. Once we got it out, we're good to go. Pedal to the metal. I mean, we're in high range at the rest. Or well, most of the way, anyway. As long as it don't get away from me, we should be good. Now, this is too quiet considerable contracts as well which is nice the fact that I've already reached the stage of cargo apocalypse is pretty cool as well but I, do, I would like to get or do we hmm do we do a bit of cargo apocalypse and then just save the white valley 
parts of those deliveries until we get into the valley. If I bring the BM and the Ankh through to Mountain River, much of what we need would be sourced from there. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll be smart with it rather than just drive through not doing anything. We'll have a look. We'll have a look once we've done this delivery. We've got to uh, scoop them up anyway first. Or I could just head through and find um, the other big load. The uh, the other um, delivery to go to the port and get that done. Now I could just jam a low saddle on here and go and move my fuel about. We do what we can in Pedro and then just move the fuel about. That is a possibility. In my little brain, that sort of makes sense to me. Ooh. Stuck on a tree? A little, f a little fell tree? There we go, we're over it. Should we grab a dribble of fuel as well? Just as we go past? Somebody get that phone, please. Then there's, there's a big jobby waiting for us somewhere. What a big jobby for you, lad. Now, the trailer will probably snag on some of these barriers, but we should just be able to pop it over. Should. Like there. Sometimes it'll just slide along them. I'm not even going to look. Because it should just keep coming. Not even going to worry. Let's have a... Yeah, see, we'll do that. We'll use some mirrors. Oh, almost like a real trucking game. <laughs> it is a real trucking game. But you know what I mean. Even even in ATS and ETS, I don't check my mirrors. So it's no different, to be fair. No different whatsoever. I might even set the first person internal FOV a little bit wider when we do this, so we just see a little bit more without having to have your head tilted so much. away from me there a little bit. Oh, wrong button. Ooh. Doing this all in, in I get used to no fuel. That's what I need to do more of. Just sometimes it's a little bit slower, but if it uses less fuel, that's better for the for the challenge really than anything else. Jam this one over here. I think there's one more in um, White Valley to collect. There we go. Dispose of all the junk. Oil rig assembly. Great. Efficiently. Efficient and timely. Can't ask for more than that. Um, just under four grand on that one. So let's just have a little look at our jobbies. 
Oh, if we go... Yeah, we haven't ticked off all of them yet, have we? Or any of them. New drill inside the pipeline is operational. Mm. We're getting there. So, um, West Mountain Conquest. Uh, uh, have we not done... Oh, no, I haven't attempted any of them here, have I? I'm going to go back to that same old issue of multiple saves causes me <laughs> problems. Uh, we finished disassembling the rigs, so this is what I want to go for next. I think we set the bridges up. So if we have a look in... Oh, have I opened that up? Have I done that? I must have done. Nice. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we forget so much. Uh, White Valley. See, it's just got to get in here and grab it. And it doesn't require any bridge work or anything. And then that'll be all of those jobbies sort of done. Or are we picking up? Deliver to the drilling site. Oh no, that's... Drilling equipment. So that's not what I thought it was. Let's double, double check then. Ah, that's what I want. So that's not ready yet. We need to deliver the new drilling equipment first. It's just going to require a trailer. I should imagine I've got a a free trailer I can use for this. We should be able to get there quite easily. I'm not sure if there's enough space here to actually put the trailer on. Might have to turn around again. Let's have a look. So I think I'm going to edit out me scrolling through all of that. Um, so I think the uh, I think it's a four slot I can't remember but we're going to take my uh, my free one just because I hate that we can't sell them and, and, and recoup any sort of pennies back so that's what we're going to go with and it's got off-road shizzles and then once we get there we should then be able to just you know delete the trailer sell the trailer back for nothing so it's like a leased leased trailer we'll give the trailer back and then we should be able to just go and grab the uh, the repair parts not the repair parts, but the um, the salvage parts, bits they, the bits they don't want. So large pipe, cargo we're going to drill in. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's what we want. And we'll have to do auto scamp a crane on, but it's still 150. I am happy with that since we got the trailer for free. Swings and roundabouts, you see, people. Swings and roundabouts. Maybe that should be a thing. If I'm using a lot of free trailers, I should pay for more of my cargo. Let me know what you think down in the comments for that. If you don't get many comments, so let me know. Let me know what you think. If I'm using my free trailers, should I pay for a bit more cargo? And have I set the job as active? I have. Now, the only thing is, once we're in uh, White Valley... We've not got fuel points set up for us, so we'll just have to be mindful of that as we go in. But if we... Let's just have we top up as we go through um, Mountain River, but we're not going to go that way, are we? Because we've got the uh, gateway open, apparently. Do you not recall opening it up, so it's pretty cool if we have. Yeah, if we saved like seven grand, going back to a previous conversation, if we saved like seven grand on a trailer, 150 for the cargo is not an issue for me. And it might speed up some of our progress without me banning about with cranes all the time. Obviously, if we're doing it with a, a vehicle with a crane, it's not such a thing. We'll still crane some of it. 
I'm not sure if they was they popped up while I was still talking, but I've got I've got some new um, log trailers installed as well. So uh, I thought we'd try them out for some of the log missions. Ooh. Like I said, but the, the the whole point when I started this was I wanted to do it different from other people and bringing in different mod stuff and you know nothing. I don't want it to feel like it's overly cheap, and I know. Some of it probably will, not paying for the, the trailers and stuff like that. But, yeah, I just want to show that there's another side to the grind, because it is a grind. But we can we can do other things, like with my uh, my little uh, Lodestar. You know, it has got some beastie wheels on it, and it's probably got a little bit of a better engine in it, but it just allows us to have a little bit more fun with it. And as you saw, being more powerful and being raised as it is and the bigger wheels actually made it less stable for the challenge as we rolled over pretty quick. So again, there's that whole swing, swings and roundabouts. Maybe we, we could waste some money and do up the, uh, the Hummer and see if that's any good for doing the uh, the little challenges in the hills. I've never used it, so I don't know. I normally get it and sell it, because in stock mode, it's pretty crap. But I, I have been told, and I had, you know, uh, people reviewing it and stuff like that, that it's, it's a decent vehicle once it's tuned up. But I've just never bothered tuning the Hummer up, because it's just always been so bad. And I always found that other vehicles that I had whenever I've done it, even like the CK1500 or the Lodestar or, or anything else, I always found them to be better at the time. Again, get in the comments, do you like the Hummer? Do you use it? Is it a lot better if I tuned it up? Would it be worth giving it a chance to get out in them hills and uh, do them tasks? Because it'll sit low. So it won't tip. It's quite, quite low sitting, isn't it? And I'm not worried about doing record breaking times. It's just getting them done. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Just then I have to take everything off and sell. Well, if you sell everything, you only get half of it. Just sell the whole vehicle afterwards. Sell it for fuel. <laughs> We're going to need fuel money at some point. Uphill under load. Um, high gear doesn't seem to be as, as good, but that's expected. Sometimes you need those lower gears for your traction. Especially on the icy routes. You just end up spinning a lot more, but fuel looked alright, it was uh, 6.7 which for this big beast is pretty good Here we go. Oh, it's blocked. No. Oh, dear. It's naughty that it tells me it's there if it's still blocked. I didn't think I'd unblocked it, but the fact that it showed me that that is the route made me think maybe I had. It's not the worst thing. It does mean I'll be able to, gra to grab that fuel. Or a little bit of fuel, anyway. And bring through. Am I even... No. Oh, pull the maintenance trailer through? I don't know. I don't think so.
naughty. Naughty for teasing me with that, though. getting high and let it do its thing. Now these trailers, this is not a trailer that I use very often at all um, in most terrains, especially if you've got to get through the mud and, and deep snow. Those front feet, although they are retracted, seem to snag, especially if you have to like go over something. That's That's quite a thing to get stuck. It's quite a heavy trailer. But we've gone for the uh, off-road version so the wheels should help us a little bit. Just sort of sliding off the road there as well. And I probably won't delete this trailer because there's um, large deliveries to come from the airfield so you know it'll be handy to have there yeah because if I take that up, up to the air oh do, 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 try and think that yeah if I leave it on the map somewhere because then after we've done the um, the drilling recycling thing stick the low saddle on He'll get the fuel. And then once we're into White Valley again, just stick the uh, high saddle back on. In my head, that makes more sense than taking um, the crane off the Royal, because that's then taking it away from jobs, I think. This is Derry's going back and forward at the minute, whereas the Royal, I just want to bring in here. But to take the crane off, I'd have to take it into the port or up to the other end of um, White Valley. Whereas this is going to be going past the port anyway, or going through the port and past the garage there. So we can change it, move the fuel, and then as we go back into White Valley anyway, which we're going to need to do to get the other large... Um, containers just put the high saddle back on that's how I'm perceiving it that's how I'm thinking there's going to be a good way to run it So there's a little extra traction here. There we go. This time, we can go through. <laughs> get that, get ourselves started up, so we are coming all the way down and dropping off at the drill site and the large one afterwards is then there we should be fine because this fuel will be able to grab there yeah, we should be good, should be good I swear, sometimes it's oh, almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> almost. I 
I think it's not that I'm bad at the game. I'm just not very good at usually planning it. And um, I, f I get forgetful with it. And I feel like I, I sometimes have quite the run of bad luck. <laughs> what the snow runnering. Easy up. So that was our metal beams that are going somewhere that I've forgotten about. To be fair, I think they're going back up near the top of the map. Although I'll pull them down here. I can't remember what I thought they were for. I think that was just the easiest way of getting them out of where they were. And dropping them on the main road at the time. I'm sure I had some sort of plan as I did it. However many weeks ago that was. Right. Digging in a bit more than I thought it would. Job. Ooh, that's a lovely job. I don't think it's popped any. No. So drilling equipment for you is in good clean work. I'm impressed. Here's your pay. 2300 Lovely job. So I th think what I'm going to do is, and hopefully I'll remember us here, is leave this trailer here. Oh, before I, let's just, let's just check this. Opened up the contract. Um, we've got a valley pipeline building. The drill assembly. Yes, the oil rig. Do, 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 do. Oh, we've got a... Where is it? So it's coming up. I thought that went elsewhere. Okay. So we've only got to take it to the top of the map, which is even easier. So we're going to accept that. And then from water to land is uh, drilling spare parts. Which is what we'll then want to come and pick up our trailer for. Get bits from there to then take to there. And that'll be, uh, yeah, nicely done, I think, Ben. Providing I remember that's what I'd want to do. Um, and we've also now opened up some more logging, which obviously everyone wants. Oh, we've still got block tunnel, building materials, free bricks. And the trucks and investigations, uh, which requires low saddle. So that'll be a job for 
job for us here with this a little bit later on. With a low saddle on it once we've, you know, switched it around a little bit. So, detach the trailer and we should go and find that other big rig. All the big jobs. Look at us go. I just think we've just been super productive. It's, it's, at some point, this is all going to go wrong. Probably on the login. <laughs> to make it most choresome, things will fall to bits on logging. Helps with the turn on the circle. That does a little quick winch. Our bridge is built. Got a trailer in the way, so it must be. Thirty-seven point turn to get in position, and best route. Yeah, service hub route. We'll go right. Oh, can I? Can we get to the fuel now? Can I? We'll be fine. We got enough fuel. We'll be fine. Shame that tra the trailer's right in my way. Never mind. Not no more, it didn't. <laughs> Lovely. And again, with this job, again, the 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 more difficult part, I think, would be making sure you get your bridge built. If not, you have to go the long way around. And that's it. I don't know. Maybe working your way to get to this large load and having to bring the, the drilling part through and, and stuff. But yeah, some, in some maps, these large cargoes are like dreaded, absolutely monstrous deliveries. I feel like in Alaska they're just they're just the deliveries. They could have had more of them. It wouldn't have <laughs> it wouldn't have felt like any harder. Which is nice. Is nice. It's nice to be able to pull the big loads without having to constantly feel like, oh no, not that one. Are you for all is there four of them in total? Three of these and then the tubes as well. I think it's four of them. If all four of them had that that dread of maybe the first one with, you know, the tippy terrain and going off road and having to go through devil's mud. If they all felt like that, then yeah. Maybe I wouldn't be so easy with it. Or so at ease with it, should I say not easy with it. But at ease. Just as I stick it on the embankment. Yeah, I've gone over there way too much. Silly me. We just take it through the village, that'll be fine. This would have been nice to have uh, <laughs> kept it on the road. I'm not sure if there's a 
this would fit, but you can go through the fence at the back of the garage. I don't think we will. We'll um, we'll try and be good. We'll try and be good. We'll just go for everyone's yard instead and just smash smash through the little village, the little military base. So that's where we have to take the uh, fuel tanker. That's where that has to go there. Which I think is more of a challenge than this job. Keep our momentum. Come on, keep momentum. I'm not sure if it's gonna do it in auto. We should be able to keep going anyway. Come on. Mind the stumps. They don't need that fence. Surplus to requirements, that. ta -da. And that is all of them done. So that's the uh, the first big chunk of that. And again, so you can see that it's not that challenging by how little you get paid for doing these big deliveries. Uh, much appreciate between you and me. I'm a little sad to see uh, Lucille leave, but I guess she needs she's needed elsewhere. That's why I called the platform Lucille. It's lovely out here. <laughs> 1700 for that one. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just going to turn the engine off while I have a little think again. So I just click on that so they just disappear. Thank you. So if we go, we could go back and do that one. I think we've got time for that. If we go back, grab our trailer, which was there. We'll pay to put them on. Um, that would cost us, was it four of them? So 600. So we'll earn less than a grand off this. But again, we've not paid for the trailer. Yeah. I think that seems fair. I think that seems more than fair. And then we'll have the um, the trailer ready for the drill and equipment. Do we not get that from here? I thought we could get the drill equipment from here. Is that a different one? Concrete box, large pipes. Oh, we can get some of that from here. Is it? Not that one. Ah, oversized cargo. There we go. So we want that for here for that. I knew we wanted us up here for a reason. Just have to think. Have to have a little read. We could do this and then probably 
stick the uh, the low saddle on and then try and get the fuel trailer out and then go and get the other fuel things. I want to try and get that fuel actually, don't we? I want to use that. I've got to remember to do that. Perhaps I should get the cat set up. Um, carrying fuel, just so we can take that with us somewhere if need be. Might be a good idea. Uh, we'll go along the road, we'll go along the road. We're sticking in high gear. Just get back to our trailer. We did start a little early, so we're probably running a little bit longer today. We started half an hour earlier, so it's like, it should only be about a minute and a half. It's, it's weird, because sometimes these episodes are like an hour and one minute, an hour and two minutes, which makes sense with an intro and an outro and, you know, little snippets of the load screen as I, as I edit it out. And then another time, like 56, 57, 58 minutes, but it, it should be an hour every time at least. Let's see if we can just get back to the trailer. I do wish there was a way of just bringing the time up without having to jump in the map. Obviously there's no clocks inside, but the time travels pretty time travels pretty quick. Time moves pretty quick in game. An hour is like three a little over three minutes I think. But yeah, no no clocks in here. I should imagine it's about quarter to six. So we have a quick sneaky peek. Oh, it's gone six. Ten past. Speed and power. That's not very good, was it? Well, I didn't check where we did pop any tyres. Oh, I did check them because they'd show on the on the HUD when we bring it up. From our collision earlier. Such a tight turn. Being mean. Some trailers it'll let you just be off and then pop and move it. Others, it's a little bit stricter. There we go.
That's how heavy the trailer is, like. You can tell by the number of gear changes it takes just to try and get through the mud and find its sweet spot. Without this heavy trailer, we've flown through. But I think this here will be where we end it today that's more than time enough um, yeah so we'll we'll load this up we'll do it automatic we'll pay for it it'll come off the uh, payment for the jobs the job will only end up paying us out about you know the equivalent of like 900 instead of the 1500 but that's fine like I say trailer was free sometimes you gotta balance it out a little bit but hopefully you've enjoyed that one I thought that was pretty productive got some big jobs done I like getting out in the uh, the Derry Longhorn and so I, I do seem to like the trucks that aren't as popular with everyone else not that they're not popular yeah there's just you know considered better trucks out there but if you're playing hard mode you got to work with what you got and you can't just go off and buy anything and, and and do what so it's a good job I like the lesser trucks I think but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon Bye-bye.